Hello, Fall Boy. What's up? How's it going? <laughs> How's it going? It's, it's pretty great right here. And yeah, uh, let me introduce myself first. My name is Pirza. I'm from Kiosk of Femme Dan. And it's been a great, it's, a, it's been a great pleasure to uh, interview in you. <laughs> well, thank you very much. I'm happy to be here. I'm happy to be because, here. Because uh, the fact is, uh, our radio has always uh, play your song every single day. Hey. <laughs> I'm so, very grateful. I'm very grateful. Yeah, <laughs> three songs and the three songs is very great. And I wanna, I wanna ask you, how's it going? Uh, where, where in the earth are you, old boy? Oh, so, um, I live in Jacksonville, Florida, in the United States. And uh, wow. yeah, I'm still out here in Florida. Uh, and yeah, so it's about yeah. So it's yeah. That's pretty, <laughs> that's, that's, but. but is there anything you found out interesting um, this nowadays, you know, in pandemic situation? Oh man, I mean, it's I guess the whole everything is interesting, right? It's just been a it's just been a crazy two years. I uh, I, I was I was out. I'm I'm like you know fully vaccinated, and some stuff is starting to open up as something settled down where I live, and um, and so going out is is fun but it's very strange just because it feels it feels weird it feels different than before the pandemic you know what i mean yeah yeah i mean uh uh gratefully everything's uh going better you know uh right here in indonesia too and yeah we're happy for it but i want to say congratulate i want to congratulate you for your newest single rocket science hey, man thank you so much <laughs> a great title and first of all uh i saw your instagram reel uh yesterday i think and I saw it that your uh, take this title from Jimmy Neutron. Is there anything? <laughs> is there anything connected uh, between Rocket Science and Jimmy Neutron cartoon? Uh, no, not not like not like actually, because the song's like about a girl, but um, or like talking to a girl. But no, that one. Um, I did originally like I just when I when I was growing up I remember watching Jimmy Neutron and I remember that scene and it was like oh, it's not rocket science and I'm just, <laughs> I was just like I think I remembered that really randomly when I was trying to come up with song titles like and ideas and then um I just wrote it down and then one day I went to go uh write, write a song and 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 uh you know just going through some things and then I ended up was like oh I'll try rocket science like it's not rocket science and I was like let's do that so that's kind of how the song came to be <laughs> wow so so um do, do you made a title first the title first rocket science or the lyrics first and then you connected each dots to make uh, their songs mm -hmm. like connected some sort of yeah. uh, with jimmy neutron well so this one i came up with the title first which okay. isn't that that doesn't mm -hmm. usually happen i usually will kind of start writing the song before i ha i know what the title is but this one I was like, I want to write a song called Rocket Science. You know what I mean? Um, I just happened to like apply it to my life. Yeah, but the title idea was from Jimmy Neutron. Yes. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I mean, you you take uh, many inspiration from any other field than uh, other than music. Like uh, your name for Spolt Boy is uh, I heard that it's it's taken from uh, the game Fallout, right? Yes, it is. Yeah. I mean, yeah, yeah it's it's very great, man. <laughs> but uh, is there um. Is there any new cartoon that you watch, you know, nowadays? Yeah, um, actually, I wrote a song I have that's not like out or anything. It's just like hidden away. I haven't sh shared it, but uh, it's a song that I wrote um, when I was watching. I came up, I came up with the idea for it from Jujutsu Kaisen, the anime. Wow, it's great. Uh, yeah, it's it's about like curses, but it's trying to use it as like a metaphor for falling in love i don't know it's a it's a weird song but i hope one day it comes out but yeah there's a there so it's definitely i think i'm super inspired by a bunch of different stuff but recently i've been watching a lot of anime so that's what i've been you know inspired by <laughs> man jujutsu kaisen is one of the greatest anime ever i think awesome. <laughs> because i, yeah, I watch it so too good. and it's very great but i mean it's it's kind of strange you know that you you fault boy taking inspiration from like a, a, cur a cursed anime like jujutsu kaisen yeah. Is it? Is there anything like? Uh, I mean, it's very strange. I, I want to take uh, some some inspiration from this, uh, like horror anime. I think you know. I I think I'm just like, 
always like looking for song ideas and like you know what i mean i think as you say no matter what i'm watching or no matter what i'm doing like my my roommates uh the other like a couple of weeks ago were they were watching a, a movie like a horror movie and i wasn't watching it but i sat in in the last like 20 minutes because it was like a really compelling looking scene and then i they there was some characters saying some something. I don't know. They were like all about to, it was like a vampire. The point is, is everything was going down. They were about to die and they were confessing their love to each other and saying like kind words. And then I got inspired and I ran into my room and I just started writing a song based off of the words that they were saying. So I just kind of like hear things and then just, I'm like, that could be a song. You know what I mean? Oh man, so, man, you, you're the real Jimmy Neutron actually. <laughs> <laughs> but I was wondering uh, your music, you know, uh, from the fun and quirky everything sucks to the sentimental aftermath and now back to the fun rocket science. It feels like a roller coaster feelings, ups and down, happy, sad and happy again. I mean, what's with all these mood swings, oh boy? Oh, that's just how I am. I think, <laughs> uh, I think that's just how I am. Uh, yeah i i you know i i think like most people i have i feel a lot of things and uh, i feel really great sometimes and you know st good stuff's happening and sometimes i don't feel as great and i think uh you know like uh struggling with like anxiety and just like depression and that kind of stuff uh, uh while also having like a life you really enjoy and like friends and like really a bunch of positive things you know there's just you just get ups and downs and then i try and write from both places you know what i mean so wow. I can I can have songs that are like more positive and then have songs that are that are just like a good time and then have songs that are like more sad that can kind of like dig into like some of the oh, sad stuff. Yeah. But I also Man, really like upbeat songs with sad lyrics because then there's like that. It kind of yeah. feels happy, but it's more sad. You know what I mean? Man, yeah, it's 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 straight fact. I mean, I, I love uh, that kind of song, you know, upbeat uh, music, but very sad lyrics it's very great you know i don't know <laughs> but about it but and um you know uh, it's been three singles from you everything sucks aftermath and now rocket science um is there any any plan you know uh, in the in the future or is there an ep or an album uh yes there is uh there is something coming uh pretty soon hopefully wow. right after the new year maybe so we'll We'll see. Wow. Yeah, there's some. There's wow. some, There's a batch of things coming soon. So. Whoa. <laughs> Man, I'm looking forward to it actually. And you know, uh, like you said, uh, like I said, that it, it's uh, aftermath. Everything sucks. Uh, it had it had this kind of different feelings uh, from these three songs. So in the future, is there any uh, um, specific specific uh, genre or specific uh, music? that you want to wrote uh, for the EP or an album, or, or I just, I just want to like free write yeah. all of it. I think, uh, I, I think the first batch of songs go together pretty well. And I, I think there's, uh, there's, there's some more that's, you know, there's more sad and like slow. And I think there's also more upbeat and kind of in that realm where happy and sad kind of meet, you know what I mean? Uh, and oh. I think, um, I think people are gonna like it. Yeah, I I like to straddle the fence, and I like to, I I like to keep it keep upbeat stuff going, but also keep the sad stuff going, and but I think in general it won't sound too different than some of the stuff that you've heard me put out in terms of like I think they all kind of sound like me. I guess is what I'm trying to say. Uh, <laughs> of course, man, because it's you. And uh, I mean, uh, let's get back a little bit, uh, drag back a little bit with your viral hits. Everything sucks. We just get millions hit on TikTok. And you even get a remix version from Eric Nam. I mean, how does it feel to have such a hit song uh, right off the, like, this is my first song, Everything Sucks, and boom, it's all over the internet. Yeah. Ah, oh, man, it's, it feels like it's been forever ago that I originally wrote that, and it was in, it was in uh, January. And man, it's been, a, it's been a row, it's been a year. I think uh, I didn't expect it to happen like it did. I, 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 when I wrote the first verse, like the viral part of Everything Sucks, I remember being like, I think this will do well. I was like, I think people will like this. You know what I mean? But I had no idea. So when I posted it, I felt good about it. But I, and then it kind of did well. And I was like, sick, I was right. But even when it went, like the first time I posted it and it got like over a million views, I didn't necessarily think that it was going to become this like big hit or like a, a song that gets played on the radio all over the world. You know what I mean? 
that yeah. that part I could not have ever guessed. So I feel uh, I feel very fortunate, but uh, I had no idea it was coming. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you know uh, why it, uh, it's been a big hit? I think because it's relate to ev every people in this world. I mean, in this condition, so everything sucks, you know. But uh, like, how do you get this inspiration? Uh, do you uh, do, are you a person that okay, I want to think about each word that I want to wrote in my music or just, okay, I just want to let it flow. You know, I think I'm really, I like to be really intentional with lyrics. Like I, everything has to feel and like feel just right. And also has to kind of, it has to fl flow and it has to, and, and the lyric, like lyrically it has to make sense, I guess. I don't know. I, I straddle the fence. I want to kind of be conversational with my lyrics, kind of just like everything sucks. Just kidding. You know what I mean? But I also want to tell stories and like be a little bit more elaborate. So I, I don't know. I, I When I wrote that, I just kind of was doing it. I just kind of let it flow out. And then that's what I had. And I was like, this is great. This is it. I don't want to make it any different. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. And and yeah. And, and, and it's work, man. You know, like the lyrics is very easy to listen. And the music is easy listening music. And like, you know, since we facing COVID, like everything sucks. And for almost two years now, and finally we can back to music concert, you know, and like, where, so do, do you think you can, uh, you know, teaser some, some location that you're gonna go and tour to or anything? Uh, I can't really, no, right now we uh, haven't, we haven't confirmed exactly what that's going to look like, but we are planning that. So I can tell you that there are plans in action uh, that are that are happening. But what that actually looks like in, for like next year, I have no idea. We'll see. We'll just see. Hopefully it means I go everywhere and I go to Indonesia and hang as well. Wow. Yeah, man. <laughs> you have a lot of fans right here. Like every single uh, TikTok, you know, TikTok content creator in Indonesia is like play everything sucks. And the rocket sign is like, it's like such a big hit too. And uh, writing uh, Rocket Science, is there, you know, like, okay, it's gonna be a big hit for me again, or or just like, okay, just, I just want to release some songs, or is there any like, felt great about this song? Yeah, Rocket Science was one of those songs. When I wrote it, I, like, I was like, wow, this is really great. I was like, it feels really good. But it, de it depends. Sometimes I get a funny feeling about a song and I just feel like it, people are really gonna like it. And uh, sometimes that feeling is right. Sometimes it's wrong. But in general, I think that I'm just trying to make music that I like, and then hopefully everybody else does. But uh, and so if I really like a song, hopefully everybody else will, and then I'll put it out. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, like talk and talking about music. And I read some articles uh, yesterday or uh, anything, uh, and it said that your father is a rock music fan, and your mother is a gospel music fan. And now you're writing about this pop music. I mean, it's such a it's such a different uh, kind of you know kind of lane you know you you took that you took that. And is there uh for because that inspiration from your parents is there is that affect you on how you wrote music? That's a good question. Um, yeah, so it it is a little like we have a lot of musical influence from rock to country to like religious music and stuff in my family. And I think I didn't really, um, I kind of resonated with all of them, like growing up. But I mean, I'm, you know, born when I was, and I just, I, I don't know, I just, I started liking pop music way more. And when I was in high school, I had like this acoustic pop kind of thing. And then, uh, yeah, later, later in life, I just, just like, late, later down the road, I just decided to do Vault Boy, because I just was really into like pop songs and pop production and like, you know, uh, a bunch of like hip hop stuff. Like I just, I, I started getting into a lot more of that. And then I just decided one day that I wanted to make m that music. And I mean, before I even started posting, I was like make, writing songs and like making productions and trying to see what Vault Boy really sounds like and like what I wanted. And so when I came out the gates, I came out swinging and like ready to like make music, you know what I mean? But yeah, uh, yeah. But yeah I don't know. It just, it was a slow and gradual thing. And I think uh, having them be musical parents, like ha having the musicians in the family was definitely rich. Anyway, Full Boy, uh, thank you for your time um, in the short interview. Uh, I'm looking forward to your next uh, pro project, uh, of course. And yeah, I want to say stay safe uh, in Jacksonville, uh, of thank course. You, my friend. And thank yeah. Thanks for having me. I appreciate yeah. it. It was nice to meet you. Take care. Somebody.
Take care, boy. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you.